okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Pong game on Scratch 3.0. So what you want to do first is um, get yourself uh, a ball, right? Um, we can make our own or we can take it from the Sprite library and that's what we're going to do. So from there, what you want to do is take um, the gre uh, one green flag clicked from events and you want to go to motion and you take um, point towards point in direction 90 except you want to change that to 45 from there what you want to do is go to events and um, take the forever loop and go back to motion and take the move 10 steps and change that to 15 and um, you want to have if on edge bounce so now when we run it it's just going to be bouncing around doing nothing so from there, what you want to do is make yourself a paddle. So to make yourself a paddle, just go into paint a sprite. Um, make sure you make a fill, like let's just say black. And let's make the paddle, right? And um, we can make it a bit smaller, right? And from there, you want to put it somewhere on the screen where you want it to start. So we want it to start right here, right? So what you want to do is go t into the code for the paddle and take the wind green flag clicked. And then go to motion and take the go to block. And so it will go to that uh, space in the beginning. So from there, what you want to do is um, go to events, take the wind green flag clicked, and take the forever loop. So after taking the forever block, you want to go to sensing and take mouse X and go to motion and take go to and put the mouse X under the X uh, value. You want to do this because you don't want the Y value to change. You just want the X value to change when you move your mouse cursor. So uh, from there, you can just tell it's a bit offset. It, the reason why it's offset is because um, when we made the sprite itself, we did not center it, so go ahead. we can go ahead and center it, right? And uh, from there, uh, what you want to do is make the ball bounce off the paddle, too. So to do that, um, just duplicate this so you have like some blocks that you're going to be working with. And um, uh, go into sensing and take the touching block and rename it to the uh, change it to the sprite that is the paddle. Uh, from there, what you want to do is go to control and take the if statement, put it in there, and put the touching sprite one inside there. And from there, what you want to do is say uh, bounce. And so to make it bounce, uh, you're going to have to make it turn 180 degrees, right? To do that, we can say turn, or go to, sorry. We need to point in direction uh, 180, or zero. Yeah, pretty much zero. And um, move 10 steps. So now, it should be bouncing off of our paddle. As you can see, it is successfully doing that. And uh, we're able to essentially make our own Pong game. Right now it's a bit uh, repetitive, but um, we can essentially make our own Pong game. Now if your uh, ball is just going up and down and up and down and not changing direction, it may be because um, you'll have to point in a random direction. So we can go ahead and change that. And now it's going to go to a random direction. And we can make it span all the way to 45. So now it'll do this. Now uh, what you want to do, we can change this to 90. Give it a lot of uh, room to change. As you can see, it can change a lot now. And um, now what you want to do is add a pool of lava. So go into stage, stage and make yourself 
um, a red lava pit with a rectangular um, box. It's a box, right? And make sure that uh, covers the whole bottom part. And uh, from there, go into the ball. And um, we want to make it end the whole entire game when it touches the red part. So to do that, we can just stop this first. Um, we can duplicate this, go to sensing, uh, take if touching color, and replace that, right? Uh, get that out of here. And uh, click on the default color and take the color picker and choose the color you want. And the color we want is going to be red. After doing that, we just got to go to control and take stop all. So now, um, oh, we got to make sure this goes in the center first. Um, go to put that under that and so now whenever we start it it's gonna going 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 until it touches the red part then it's gonna end everything so that essentially is your pong game but one thing you might want to do is have it have a score so go into variables and create a variable and name it score from there um, under green flag make sure you set score to zero so every time you start a new game, it'll set the score to zero. And what you can do is say, change my variable by one every time it touches the paddle. Uh, where is that? Yeah, here. Uh, make sure it says score again. And so now you have it changing every single time. So, um, also, when you end the game, you want to make sure that the score also goes to zero. And it will if you added this here. So, one more thing you can add, which will make it even cooler, is to make the ball speed increase. So, as your score increases, you want your ball speed to increase. So, what you can do is go into operators, take the plus sign, and on one side, you want to put your score, and on another side, you can just put a number like five so it'll start very slowly and it'll be really easy but as you go ahead it'll increase its speed and so um, if I just show you an example here and uh, you can uh, test with your friends like oh who can get the highest uh, score without dying so very quickly and you can obviously incre increase, uh, increase your intercepts um, of five to something higher so now you can see we're getting reaching a really high speed. And so my high score is 24. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, leave a like and um, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you made this, uh, leave your high score in the comment section below.